I'm a hog in dog heaven. The majority overall is very, very excited what has happened to the town. And at first, when he first told them about wall dogs, they, they really thought that they were dogs and stuff. And But then everybody just jumped on the bag wagon. And I had more people offering in their homes than I had artists for at the end. First night we get here, you see a lot of old friends. And uh, you're preparing, having all your artwork ready. And we wait till it gets dark. And then we uh, get our projectors with transparencies. And we shoot the image on the wall. And we draw it with a Sharpie. You know, we're hoping it'll add some color to the downtown, uh, brighten it up, and, uh, and you know, bring people to the community. It'll give them something to do. We've got a new train station and sidewalk, so the mural's kind of the glue to pull everything together and hold it together. I kind of like the underdog scenario. Can we take something that where a town's a little bit of an underdog and then, you know, help them rebuild themselves, you know, re, uh, rediscover their history? One of the murals that uh, is kind of special to me is Roger Riemann. Um, he was a local boy that grew up to be one of the national, became a national, grand national racer, and, and ended up being number one in the world. He went on to become the mechanic and builder for Evil Knievel. We have um, themes like uh, Woodland Palace, which is uh, probably the first green home ever built in Illinois. It was built by Fred Francis, who was an eccentric millionaire and nudist as well. We also have the Great Kiwani Fire, 1942. Several themes regarding agriculture. Kiwani is the hog capital of the world, according to a proclamation made in the 1940s. Henry County, Illinois, had the the largest number of hogs coming out of it in, in the United States. And the streetcars, they don't remember the um, the line between Galesburg and and Kiwani. And so it's all this fascinating history about Kiwani. And right here, we're standing uh, next to the Sandy's wall, and no one has any idea that, you know, Sandy's hamburger chain that later on became part of Hardy's, right, was part of this, this community right here. Also, it brings about the history of the city. There's young people in this town that don't know what Kiwani really was in the past. And I do believe when you see the murals that's sitting by the railroad station right now, that it would, uh, make people really want to stop because it says welcome to Kiwani. People can come over on, you know, or come down from Chicago, whatever, come on the train, get off the train, enjoy Kiwani, walk around, check out the murals. There were people getting on in Galesburg and coming up to Kiwani, having breakfast, then getting on the train and going back. It's called the breakfast train. We've had people from Quincy, we've had people from Missouri uh, that will ride the train up in the morning, stop and have uh, breakfast, and an uh, hour and a half later, you jump on the train and you can be back home by afternoon. <laughs> We're looking for activities, community revitalization, community pride, downtown redevelopment, and what we got out of this was all of it in one package. I just think it's going to be a fantastic addition to Kiwani. How do you know this is a hog and dog heaven? It is a hog and dog heaven. It's a hog and dog heaven. I'm a hog and dog heaven. I'm a hog and dog heaven. I'd rather be the dog than the hog. What about you? I'm, uh, <laughs> that's a choice. So, I am a hog. And no, dog you're, heaven. No, you're a dog in hog heaven. It's now resting on lake, it's now ridden on the water. Well, I don't even know. You won't see it on the top, they won't show it on the TV. Well, that don't even know. Not sitting with your friends, it's not living with the family where well, you may never know. It's not running in the streets, it's not painted on a building where we may 
No, 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 no. 